Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today guys we have episode number 1 of the Wolfsburg career mode in FIFA 19. Today we do have a brand new episode and a brand new series on the channel. Obviously yesterday I did end the Juve career mode and uh, it was a great career mode, I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, but now we move on to um, something more challenging in terms of uh, a career mode because you know Wolfsburg they're not as good as they used to be they're a four star rating on FIFA now uh, and they've got all low expectations and two mediums so um, yeah this is going to be a really really good challenge if you are new to the channel please subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and also hit the like button if you are excited for this series now obviously I'm going to be um, needing some um, what's it called I'm going to be needing some like uh, Transfer suggestions, sorry, I couldn't think what I was going to say. I need some transfer suggestions, and um, yeah, because I can't do it all by myself, and especially if you guys uh, are wanting to see this, like, progression, uh, and want to have, like, your input on what goes on in the career mode, uh, that would be uh, greatly appreciated if you could do that. Um, also, comment um, your thoughts on the video down below if you could do that as well, that'd be great for me. And uh, I'm just checking, I don't think Wolfsburg are in the, this... Let me just check. Nah, they're not. Nah, they're not. Anyway, I was just checking anyway. But anyway, um, we're going to move on into that. Obviously, picked our manager. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this uh, career mode because obviously this is going to be at least, I'd say, minimum of two seasons, possibly three or more because unlike Juve, Juve you expect to win at least the league and the, like, cut, uh, the league cup uh, in the first season and hopefully the Champions League, which I was unfortunate enough. I was un I, unfortunately I couldn't do that. So um, for us, we just ended off in one season because we won two trophies. So I got a bit bored because it was a bit easy, and I didn't want to just redo a um, career mode just for uh, just for the Champions League. So hopefully, Wolfsburg we can uh, bring them back to what they used to be like a decent when they had that, that Mario Gomez era. Um, hopefully we can do that. I'm going to save over that career mode because I, I play that off like YouTube and stuff. Um, but I don't actually play it. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully we can do that. This is the first episode. If you are excited for this, like I said, leave a like. I'd love that. And also comment your thoughts on transfer suggestions because we have got like 40 million or 38 million plus the players that we'll eventually sell on uh, to try and make some signings. So, if you could do that, that'd be great. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit that per, uh, bell so we can get so you can get those post notifications for when I upload. So, obviously, I've got this career mode and I've got the card of career mode are running alongside. So, Hopefully I'll try and get at least two episodes of each up a week, minimum, or at least one of each a week. So, anyway, moving on into the intro, past the intro now, um, pre-season tournament, I'm obviously going to accept the invites, uh, and I'll go for the one with the most money. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to play those games, because normally in career modes, I just sim them, and um, just, like, move on with that, uh, and just let, let it go itself, but I might actually play that. Uh, in like to make the series go longer. Anyway, that's about the preseason cup. Not much about that. We don't really need to listen to. Um, this is about the transfer market. Again, uh, don't really need to listen to that. Visionary expectations. I'm going to look at the objectives after. Um, scout report. Um, view scout report. What's this then? Oh, this is like all the transfer. Okay, it does not matter. And then introduce myself. Um, yeah, let, we'll leave that for now. Anyway, moving on into the objectives in the so, oh we've got 60 million okay that's decent okay yeah, that's decent right objectives lads so overall actually no let's go through them individually first so long term for youth development make a 2.6 million pound profit on a youth player within two seasons okay that I can easily sign a youth player in this season and then eventually play him on in the next season so that's something I will definitely try to do brand exposure they this is quite low so Within three seasons, they want us to increase season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium capacity. Now, obviously, that's not in my hands. That's just on my results and stuff like that, how the team plays. So that's all right. No continental success because we're not in any of the competitions. So hopefully this... My objective is to at least get the Europa League this season. I think Wolfsburg and a Europa League standard uh, in terms of career mode, probably, and FIFA. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Anyway, so short term, finish mid-table in the Bundesliga. So obviously they're not expecting much, to be honest. Um, 
the Polka, um, which is like the FA Cup equivalent of Germany, reached the round of 16. Okay, that's doable as well. Um, and then long term for domestic success, within two seasons of Bundesliga, finishing a Europa League spot. Okay, okay, right. Two seasons they want me to do that. I, could, I reckon I could try to do that in one, you know. Anyway, no financial objectors either. So, the objectors aren't that bad. I'm quite surprised. So, anyway, we move on into the squad. Now, what do you guys want me to do? Keep, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go 4 3 3 attack for this for this um, career mode, wherever it is. There it is. So, I'm going to keep that left. How old is that left winger? I'm just going to go. Okay, he'll definitely stay in the squad. He's 26. He's, that's not bad. Arnold will definitely be staying. He's the captain. Why is the left back there? Okay, we have two left backs. Hmm. Brooks will be staying as well. Um, let me put. Just, let me just put Camacho there for now. Marley will stay there. Um, but quite a lot of um, defense. Intep. Why is Intep not in the squad? Um, I want to start Intep though. That's the problem. I really want to start him. Can he play on the right wing? Uh, can this guy play on the right wing? Yes, he can. So we'll do that. Um, strikers definitely gonna need to get improved. Uh, these two don't look great. I'll probably keep uh, Weg Weghorst on the bench and probably sell this guy on. Um, we've got quite a few defenders on the bench. Oh, there's my midfield problem. Camacho will come out. To be fair, the two midfielders, Arnold and uh, Golovogu, I don't know how you pronounce that. They'll stay. I need an, probably. Uh, I'd probably put Marley on the bench. To be honest. Not gonna lie, let's just rotate this all around, um, because the team's actually not Lazakowski as well. He's on the he's on the reserves. Let's put him in there. So the team, the squad overall is not bad. It's not bad. This youngster's there at 20 and he's 76 rated. What about this guy? He's 26. I'll probably start him to be honest. So what we need, probably, is a new. Not even a new a new cam and striker, I think, for now. With the money we've got, a new cam and striker and maybe a new right back. Um you okay, so what I'm gonna suggest for you guys, I'm gonna look myself as well off off uh, recording. A new cam, a new striker, and potentially a new right back. Three signings we could make or potentially make. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for um for this uh like my request for you guys to do in the comments of the video um, striker cam and a right back I reckon um, as the left back we do have um, this guy and we do have this other youngster as well so left back we're covered with um, Bruma is also there as well I'm gonna put Bruma there I'm gonna see I've got so many defensive options um, so yeah I'm gonna leave it like that and may oh maybe a backup keeper I'm not too sure Maybe that's where the youth can get invested in. Anyway, we've got a decent squad compared to what I was expecting, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, so, after that, I'm going to go away now. I'm going to find out off some transfers myself. And then I'm going to play that first game against Southampton. So, the next time you'll hear from me is when I'm probably going into the Southampton game. If not, it might be um, just after I've uh, found some signings myself, which I will discuss with people in the comments uh, against what you guys have have suggested so uh depends wherever you see me i will see you guys in a second i will be right back right guys here we are in the first ever game in our wolfsburg career mode on fifa 19 i decided that i am going to be playing the uh, preseason cup just because i want to get a feel with this team because i've never really used wolfsburg before and uh I just, I don't know, I just wanted to try and just test them out in the first game before we make any signings, uh, just to see what players are good, what players are not great to use, so, um, yeah, we are up against Bournemouth, because uh, we are in the, like, English pre-season tournament, uh, so it's, like, uh, me, two Premier League teams, and then another team, I can't remember who, but anyway, great start for us here. Getting a shot off and goal on target. Um, first one of the season and many more to come. Unfortunately, we couldn't convert anything from that corner. So, um, we get a little counter attack here. Um, I think uh, Mali, uh, Mali, I think that is, uh, picks up the ball. Uh, unfortunately, he does lose the ball. Uh, and then Josh King lays it off to one of his players. O'Connell whips it in. Strike and it, it is a near miss for um, Bournemouth there in the 18th minute. We do get a chance here. The ball gets spread out to Intep, who uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to using. Uh, unfortunately, he does lose out on the ball there, but um, he keeps he kept pressing, and uh, the keeper kind of just like 
I don't know, he doesn't really know what to do with it. Loses the ball out, gives it straight to Ntep, and the ball was so close to going in, just over the bar, but I had to take it first time. Uh, the ball just kept rising, 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 and then boom. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a goal. Anyway, Bournemouth, great strike there. Um, I thought the keeper actually made a great save, but um, it just actually went out for a, a goal kick. It just went over um, without any uh, deflection. So, and Tep with the ball goes on a great run, uh, pushes on through into the box, cuts inside, and again shoots. And the defender makes a really good block there to stop us from scoring. Now, um, I make some changes at half time uh, to bring on because obviously it's pre season, you're allowed to, like as many subs as you want. Uh, in terms of the players that you have on your bench. So I brought on nearly everyone. Uh, I gave like Bruma a run out. I gave uh, Stefan on the wing. Uh, Camacho in centre mid as well. And then uh, I, I decided to keep everyone else on the pitch. Because uh, I was enjoying the players I kept on. Apart from obviously the goalkeeper and like a couple of defenders. So anyway, moving on into the 48th minute. We get a really nice chance here from a with a counter attack. Uh, Stefan, the super sub who's just come on, goes to shoot. I don't know why he took it with his left foot. I'm guessing he's left footed, which was really annoying because, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, we get a chance at the corner there. It doesn't really come to anything. Um, 52nd minute now, we're pushing on. Uh, Bournemouth are pushing on. Uh, ball gets whipped in. Uh, King with a glance and header over the keeper. And you can't really... Um, you can't really, uh, yeah, I don't know. You just It's one of those FIFA goals where you probably could have saved it, but he didn't, so we go 1-0 down. King gets another chance here, good save from the keeper uh, to catch that there and not drop the ball. The throw from the keeper was awful. Uh, gets a shot off, and pff, what a save that is, by the way. Um, really, really good, uh, good save. Now, they get a corner. Defoe's just come on for Josh King. And with his first touch, he scores. Um, probably the smallest player on the pitch has just scored a header. Um, not annoyed at all in the slightest. Uh, as you can see here again, oh, I skipped it. Defoe, first touch of the game, first goal for him. And yeah, kind of annoying. Uh, him being just come on the pitch and he's the smallest player on the pitch. Anyway, 72nd minute, Stefan gets into some nice space. Mali plays it over to Ntep, who smashes that into the top corner to pull one back in the 73rd minute. Now, can we push on and get some uh, get something out of this game? You know, um, we've had a rocky start to uh, our Wolfsburg career mode in the preseason tournament. Um, we haven't created many chances in this game, but uh, we do get another chance here, 77th minute now, and we move on. Uh, our new striker who's just come on, not new striker, the super sub, if you want to call it, because he does pull another one back for us. So it does go to 2-2. Uh, it's literally two, three minutes after we score the first one. He just slots one in in the 79th minute. Really well played from him there. I preferred him compared to the striker that started the game. So I'm probably going to be selling one of these guys off and bringing in a, a replacement, uh, most likely. Anyway, Camacho there with a drive. Um, very close to go Yeah, like I said, very close to going in there. Um, but this is going to be the end of the episode guys if you did enjoy it please leave a like comment subscribe and please let me know if you're excited for this series um, I hope it's going to be a good one and entertaining shout out to Liam Price and Ryan as well who uh, I see in the comments every day every video so thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video peace